everybody welcome back this is Jules um, today I'm going to be showing you a pour through a sink strainer and if I'm talking funny I just burnt my tongue on some broccoli rice I was making my husband some lunch and couldn't help but taste it um, I have burnt my tongue and my hair's a mess because I had a knot in it the size of Ireland so I had to braid it anyway first of all I am um, going to mask the back of this. This is a um, artist panel and it is nine by 12. And I have a lot of paints that I want to use up. So we're gonna, I'm gonna be doing two pours. Now I'm gonna get ready. And I thought a good way to cool my tongue down with this, it's five o'clock somewhere, Sparkling pink wine. As you can see, I have a lot of paint that has just been sitting in these little portion cups for weeks, occasionally I use them. So for this project, and I haven't written on the cups what is what, so I'm just gonna have to guess actually. This one is, I know this, is an AI Friedman's um, green light. I'm gonna use the orange, which is A.I. Friedman's orange and um, the yellow which is Liquitex Basics and um, Amsterdam Acrylics Prussian Blue and I'm hoping they'll all be liquid enough and just for those of you who may be unsure of what colors to put together I suggest that you invest in a color wheel because for example blue and orange are complementary if you put this arrow if you can see that to blue it tells you the complementary color color is orange and the same with like green and red and violet and yellow, which blue and orange, maybe I'll change the green then, because I, I actually don't like using red, and I'll do the violet, violet and yellow, and let's see how that works out. So, I am going to see what the consistency, oh, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect, that one. I get these little plastic cups from the dollar store. And the mixture of the paint is just Floetrol, which is a paint conditioner and helps it flow better. You can buy that in DIY stores. I get it in Home Depot for about $12 a litre. So it's just flow trial and water. And I'm not sure if any of these have silicone in them. Well, this one's separated quite a bit, so hmm, interesting to give that a good old mix. It seems kind of greasy. I bet this has silicone in it. Anyway, just mix that up. And what I'm gonna do is 
I'm going to add a little bit of treadmill oil just to the blue. So it's treadmill belt lubricant. And you only need a few drops and it does last a long time. So I'm just going to put a couple of drops in there. Give it a little mix. And then I'm going to do a dirty pour. Now, whatever colour you put on the bottom, remember it comes on top, except I'm going to be kind of doing a kind of ring pour into the sink strainer. So, do some blue. Blue's complementary colour is orange. Yes, that definitely has silicon in it. I can see it selling already. And um, then I think some yellow. So we should get some green out of this because of the blue and the yellow together. Yeah, there we go, nice big mess already. Excuse me. I took my splint off for this next week. I saw my surgeon this week, and next week I can come out of the splint. And then some purple. Ooh, purple's heavy, it's sunk straight to the bottom. And some more blue. more orange. I wonder how this is going to come out. It's looking pretty in the cup. So I have masked the back as you saw and it's now supporting on some little Dixie cups. I'm going to move my paint out of the way. Oh, look at that, so pretty. Put this over here. And let's pour. I'm going to move this around. It kind of looks really muddy right now, but I think I know what I'm going to do to change it up a bit. Interesting that, that hardly any of the blue showed through. Okay, so I need to do a, a save on this one because it is terribly muddy. I'm going to put some more white on it to give some negative space because I really didn't like that. Some of it I liked.
and then in this pipe I'm going to pour the blue and the yellow. Well, it's kind of interesting. You know what? So that was a big fat disaster. I am going to try something else. I think the paint needs something to flow on. So I'm just going to put some white paint on the canvas. And this is, um, my dog is barking at the neighbors. This is um, Liquitex, Liquitex Basics white and just with Floetrol and water. I don't use house paint because it cracks, because it dries at a different rate to the rest of it. And I know there are some house paints that work really well, but I haven't found one. So I use just regular acrylic paint. Come on that down. Okay. And I'm going to put the strainer in the middle. And this time I have Prussian blue. I have some turquoise. Some beige. And orange. And there is silicone in the orange. Do the turquoise. Ooh, this is interesting. This is really interesting. I might have to mix up some more dark blue. I almost don't want to put the beige on top of it. Maybe just a little bit of beige in the center. Let's 
see what that does. I'm dying to lift this up. Hopefully the beige is going to work. And I don't think I'm going to add any more. Well, maybe I'll do a tiny bit more orange. I'm going to lift this up and let's see what we've got. I'm going to move it really, really slowly. Ooh, this would make a great clock on an album. I make resin clocks from recycled albums and they're on my Etsy store and the link to that is below this video. Ooh, I like this. I want to keep some negative space though. I think what I might do is just try to stretch it a little bit more. Kind of like that flower. That's really nice. I'm going to torch it. See if any lacing happens. Oh yeah, oh look at the lacing. It's really happening. See the blues coming through the turquoise now. Let's see what happens. So the beige really didn't do much. I did a like, turn off a few highlights down there. And I'm trying to think if I should keep tilting it. I almost want to put a green stalk down it. Where's my bright green? Oh, I like this. Very pretty. So there you have your sink strainer pour. I'm going to bring you down so you can see some of the details. And you can see the lacing and some great cells. Lots of cell action. And actually that beige did add a nice little highlight. Ooh, there's a little beady eye there. Oh, I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching and come back and see me next time. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below.